Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Here we illustrate every week about how to paint digitally in Photoshop. And if you like this and if you want to learn more about it, just make sure you hit the subscribe button. And today we are going to start off painting a beautiful butterfly. So let's see how. I'm in my Photoshop screen as you can see right now and we'll be painting with brush mostly of the hard and soft round brush beforehand just make a new layers by clicking the add a new layer button you can rename it according to your choice and I will start from the basic sketch so with the basic hard round brush that I'm using you can see make curves like of the feather for her so for that just make nice curves you can easily practice it it not need to be in the one stroke complete masterpiece but try to be as precise as you could and I'm just adding few points so that our sketch gets joined entirely so that we could easily fill the colors don't worry if you are not a big sketcher or not a great sketcher just make a closed shape like this and as soon as we are done with it it's time time to paint it so for that just go to magic wand tool select the particular area like this go to select modify and expand i will choose here five pixels and it's good to go so in the upper part on the next layer i'm just painting it to a wide black again i'm making a next layer that will be for the lower part and in the similar process of selection i'm just uh, painting over there with the black color so now just remove the turn off the sketch layer and with the rest two layers and the lasso tool selected select a nice 10 pixel feather and particularly in each layer i'm just making a few selection areas as you can see here it's selected you can add on selection hold shift and again select the part so that it will be added to the prior selection and i'm just filling it with a nice blue color this is giving not so sharp edges for that filled areas and that's what I want to achieve. So I have used the lasso tool of feather selection and again painting on the upper part in the next layer. For filling I am using the color fill bucket tool, a shortcut G and just fill it inside. Hit Ctrl D for deselection and shift your tool to the brush tool with the again the hard round brush only on the upper part I will start from the upper part beforehand painting anything I'm just masking it my layer one by one by holding control and clicking on the thumbnail and adding a layer mask now just painting from the edges with the dark black color so that the black color is more in those areas now it's time to add sections like this with a very very thin size brush I'm just painting and zooming in so that you can see these are pretty rough areas don't worry if you don't like those lines right now so on this wider area I'm just using a bigger brush size and painting it my brush color is black and opacity is like little 70 to 80 percent so that you can just uh, paint a light version if you have seen my videos you know i use one by wacom tablet and if you are new i would recommend you to you so that it's easy to use it is easy to install and it's perfect if you want to start your digital painting career and it's very basic one but it's very effective so now as you can see i'm painting with a darker tone of the blue darker shade one what i used is just raise the brightness to make it a darker color and just painting it around like this filling up the shapes again with the brushes only so that it gets the same nicer edgy smudged edge look not any clean edge so that i just painted with the same soft round brush 
Now it's time to blend colors. For that I'm using the mixer brush. This time it's for red and light mix so that it is not too dark or too heavy to mix but it makes in a nice watercolor form. And what I'm doing is just painting in a stroke form from here to here as you can see tiny details on the edges of her feathers is just what I need right now in the sketch. It's pretty easy guys. Don't pressure your hand too much. Just with a light pressure I'm just painting around like this. Now it's time to add some more detail to her feather. For that I'm using the white color with the eyedropper tool and again with the brush tool selected just painting tiny patterns on the borders, on the black borders to give it a more organic and real shape. Here's something there. Painting on the edges like for a half done pattern is giving such a nice feel. It's looking too attractive for that. And similarly I'm just completing my entire feather area, the black areas for the feather to be precise. I come up every week with such interesting videos of how to paint and how to draw things in Photoshop. So if you are interested in those, make sure you hit the subscribe button and support us here so that I could come up with such interesting videos every week. So here I have completed the upper part. You can see how it turned from that simple sketch or simple color based fill to something such an attractive way. So now it's time for adding the sections to the lower part. Similarly in the similar way that I did above, I am just dividing it with a black color sketch into the different sections. This time I am trying to be with the bold lines, so dark and bold lines all over. So my painting opacity is 70% and flow is with the 35% to achieve this look. Now I am painting with a slight light, very light hue of the blue, like this, somewhere here and there. And next to that, I'm going to just paint with the black areas here to give a nice complete edge. You could use this step or you could go with your own style of painting the sections. So now I'm going to mix up the areas, the colors, little by little. I'm using the same mixer brush and the properties as I did earlier but with a tiny brush, with a soft round brush. You can just use those brushes and see what results you are getting. If you, if you want to be very very specific for some areas like here some white is overlapping the black and I want that black back to the own strength then just paint over the black only so that it get mixed up well and we clean up the white area from there similarly I'm just blurring edges and mixing up from the side so that it's all giving a feel of watercolor oops and uh, yes back to the thing similarly repeating the process here also you can see as I've zoomed out this is completely giving a nice organic look that I want to achieve in this whole painting. So now back to the brush tool, select the white color, make the opacity 100% and again we are going to paint the tiny dots patterns for her feather corners. This time it's I'm choosing to be pretty smaller than before or you can just again paint according to the space and your choice. A nice big dot style on the edge that will be the focus for her lower feather. 
and now it's time to paint the body and for that just again I'm making a new layer and quickly making a shape for her body and face with the brush tool only and just joining it like this I think it's pretty nice just select both the areas with the magic wand tool and make sure your areas are closed so that it works nicely so now yes it's selected and I'm selecting both the areas then move in expand it and fill it up with the black color like this with the brush tool very smaller size brush tool and 100% flow I'm just making her one side antenna that antenna thing and yes now it's time to compose everything so for that I'm just selecting all the layers that I painted the butterfly with and just duplicating ctrl J and then with the edit flip it and place it according to that we are with done with the our main butterfly and for the next version you can see for the side version I am just duplicating it again and for her wings I am duplicating once more time placing it below and just like this you can try to add some shadows and scalings according to your choice but I think we are pretty much done with how to paint butterfly in photoshop so with this I will take a leave for today and you can see my some other tutorials on differently painting everything from breads to painting leaves and everything else or a portrait also have a look there if you like the content if you like the video please hit the like sir, and subscribe it share it with your friends share your views in the comments below and see you in the next video